So and welcome to another video here. This is on the Netgear R7000 and how to restore it back from a custom firmware back to an original firmware, the Netgear Genie. I've done a video of this before, but I did miss out one step. So this now supersedes that version because this now includes that step. If you want me to check anything else on the Netgear R7000 on tomato firmware, let me know in the comments and I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to your router. It should be under 192.168.1.1. If not, you'll need to find your IP address. You'll need to log into the router. The default is admin, admin. Once you're into your router, make sure you back up your configuration. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link in the description. I've done a video on how to do that. Make sure you've got the configuration saved because you will need it later on. You'll need to go to administration, configuration. You need to go to restore default configuration. Erase all data in MV, RAM, and memory. This basically clears all the settings down. Do this after you've backed your, your router up. Run this. During this period, you'll lose internet connectivity. You'll lose it for around two minutes. And throughout the whole process, you won't have internet connectivity, but it'll take around five or 10 minutes. So make sure you've got a lot of the files backed up. Make sure you've got the files and link in the description downloaded ready. If you haven't already, check out my Tech Tuesday videos. On there, I do videos around gaming hardware, mouse reviews, keyboard reviews, router reviews. I also do gameplay on my channel as well as streaming. So once it's rebooted, it'll bring you back to the main page. What you need to do is make sure you're on a wired connection as well, not a wireless connection when you're doing this process because it can drop the wireless connectivity and login details. So what we need to do now is go to Administrator. We need to come down to Upgrade. We need to click Browse. We need to go to this website and URL here, which I'll give to you. And you need to download the back to original firmware option here. Download this. When that's completed, go back to the router. Go to administration, upgrade, go to browse, pick your file. So for me, it's going to be this R7000 one. Click open and click upgrade here. Click OK. Now, this will take a few minutes again. You'll lose internet connectivity during this period. So now it's restored, you see here I've got the Netgear Genie page. That's it, up and running. You should now be back to the original firmware. So if you want me to do anything else, put the comments in the description below what I'm going to show you for the R7000. Check out my Tech Tuesday videos. And until then, I'll see you soon.